guys, how are we all doing? It's a bit of overcast today. I'm with Al. Hello. I've seen him on previous videos. I'm having a little day out. We're going to have a. Popping down to East Sussex. Yeah. And Ditchling. Ditchling and Hurstpier Point. Hurstpier Point. I don't know anything about Hurstpier Point. I know Hurstpier Castle. Um, so, yeah, come with us for an adventure. The village, see what's here? Yeah. And uh I'm going to go have a cup of coffee somewhere. <laughs> it's a bit chilly actually today, isn't it? It's 21 degrees yeah. on Tuesday when I was out walking, so uh Yeah, it's nice in the week, yeah. Right, right let's go. Let's the workmen's cottages we have here. And we're going down here. From this lady. <laughs> Walking down, I said Ditchling, didn't I? I thought we were going to Ditchling. That's where I got it wrong. We are going. Oh, Ditchling. we're going to Ditchling. Going to Ditchling after. after this. Sorry, my 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 apologies. It's been one of those kind of days. Cafe. There you go. Mansion House, home to St John's College, 1850 to 1853. Lovely old door there. Lovely old door. That's George and I think across the road there. Got a plaque on the front. Got a plaque on the front. Got that one? Yeah. God, I think it was <laughs> walking around with a t-shirt on nearly shorts on Tuesday. Hey. Walking around with shorts and t-shirt on bloody Tuesday. Now look, it's all cold. Antique shop. Yeah. Give you an idea where we are. Hassocks. Always make me laugh. Hassocks. Hassocks. Ditchling. Which is why the church, I don't know who the dedication is to, uh, Holy Trinity. Let's be a point, yeah, Holy Trinity. Church house. Uh, church. War Graves Memorial. Mm -hmm. Michael clapboard houses and um shut only to keep the heat in. You can't because it says our building is closed. Oh, our building is closed but the church is open. Another lovely old door. I don't think it's actually that old but... I think it's 1800s isn't it? Yeah I don't think it's that old this church. Not we'll just look fools when we get it all completely wrong. Again. Again. As some people like to point out, you know, I'm not a historian, nor is Al, we're explorers. And sometimes we get facts wrong, but you've always got someone on the tippy-tappy going, well actually no, it was 1834. Yeah. Pretty pleasant place to walk around though. Al's been using his new 360 camera, haven't you? Yes. Very nice. All connects to the phone and everything, so. Countryside, South Downs, yeah. South Downs. We're venturing into Richard Vove's bald explorer territory. Don't tell him that, though. <laughs> we're he won't know we've been here. Don't yeah, we? encroaching in his land. <laughs> he could probably smell us. Yes, 
What is what is Northerners doing here? <laughs> You're North Downs. You're North Downs. Go away. You're North Downs. We're South Downs. It's very nice. Very odd church layout for this church, though. Very it's odd layout. Metal, uh, oh yeah, yeah. We've we've seen a few of these, haven't we? Little. Yeah. Don't quote me on that. Yeah. Oh, there'll be someone on this TV tappy <laughs> going. Actually, they were first introduced when this time. <laughs> it's just a walkway, trackway. Horses go along here by the looks of it. Day a year. Children of the Fair. Oh, this yet? It says here, Children of the Fair. This sculpture represents all the fun of children enjoying St Lawrence's Fair over the seven centuries since Edward II gave the fair its charter in 1313. There are seven children, one for each century. Medieval boy and girl, Tudor boy and Stuart girl, Georgian boy and Victorian girl, girl of today. Made in 2013. Al's going to do a 360s. 360 fault already. We're heading back on the other side of the street this time. West Norton House. Wickham House. This house is protected by the official list of protected buildings uh, of special architectural interest. Yeah. That window. Oh, yeah. Okay, little walk around. Hurst um, Pier Point. Hurst Pier Point. <laughs> I can never get it right. And now I'm going to head over just a little bit further down to Ditchling. Yes. With the Wits uh, old houses and I think it's an artistic area. So and Ditchling Beacon. And Ditchling Beacon. South over the yes. South Downs. Or yes. That's a bit of a walk oh, up though. Like no, no, I ain't walking up there. Yeah. Car park at the top. Oh, oh right, we'll do that then. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a bit of a bad back. Um, so yeah, on to the next bit. These are very um, tight roads here, so you've got to keep stopping and letting the traffic go through and vice versa, as you can see. Everyone's quite polite and says, thank you very much, thank you, thank you, thank you. And they, look, and they stop. See, look at that, isn't that nice? So just stop, say, right, it's your turn now. Very cool. So heading down to Ditchling. So, we are now in Ditchling, just a few miles on from where we just were. Look all around the historic high street and uh, look at the church. Then we might have a little trip up to Ditchling Beacon. Walk up to that. Pass over there. Yeah. Muse Ditchling Museum of Art and Craft. Just seen this sign in the tree that says so sorry okay uh why how bizarre just found this fantastic old building opposite and look at the walls look at the walls here this looks yeah. quite they say this is probably part of it yeah it yeah looks like another 360 uh, photo. Photograph. Such a shame it's not a nicer day because the blue sky would have been perfect. Just looking at some of these old houses um, in the area. Yeah, it's still nice. I do like that church though. Very nice. Goodness, look at these. Very ancient tombs. Um, not sure how old they will be. Wow. This is a fantastic building, look at it. Some 
Margaret's at Ditchling. See a viewpoint up here. There's a nice little bench that someone's put out. Oh, the sun's come out. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Ditchling Beacon up there. Yeah. The road runs up the side. You can just see cars going. Yeah, you can see. Yeah. Ditchling Beacon. So that's where we're going next. Great. Isn't it lovely. You can say you can just sit here if you want to. Have a cup of coffee with that kind of view. So this is a Dame of Vera Lynn country. Yeah. Where she lived sure until was. recently. Was it 100, 102? Uh, I think she was 102. Yeah. 102, yeah. 102, 103. Right on the scarp of the South Downs National Park. Oh, another nice little bit of house on the end. Yep. Oh gosh, yeah. Down. Oh wow, that could have been. Uh, that's an old wall. That's an old wall. Okay. As with all these kind of villages, you've got the constant flow of traffic, you know, going right through the village. Most of these places suffer from that, but there's not much you can do about it really. The old printing house. We've got a phone box, but obviously a smashed phone, oh, as you can see. Oh, is there it? <laughs> you could have done a 360 then. <laughs> Eric Gill, sculptor, lived here 1907 to 1913. Alcove. Four. Yeah. Look here, yeah. A door would have been here, as you can see. Four, four cottages, yeah? Four candles. Four candles. This little, yes, little pathway to the back of the church, where we were just now. In Ditchling. Very small Ditchling, but absolutely small, beautiful. Yeah. This could be the vicarage, St Margaret's Church. Bird song in the background as we head up to Ditchling Beacon. Oh, pump. Yeah. Ditchling is the best kept large village in East Sussex, presented by the Sussex Rural Community Council. It's not that big a village, but it's still very nice and it is very well kept. Well, that was back in 1978. Oh, yeah, here. <laughs> Oh yeah, we've got all the other previous winners here. All the previous winners. Yeah. Forest Row, very nice, 1980. Yeah. Oh, 94 was it the best kept as well? <coughs> oh yeah, 94. Yeah, look. Traffic. <laughs> yeah, as I said earlier on, there's so much traffic in yeah. these little villages. It can be very windy here, so hopefully you can hear me okay. As we're walking, what a view. Got a trig point over there, a little trig point. Right there at the bottom is uh, the Brighton Stadium. I think it's a football stadium if you're into football. 
hassocks in the distance and actually and Ditchling are bathed in a little bit of sunlight at the moment from a gap in the clouds which is nice actually it's not it's not windy now yeah so this is part of the this is part is part of the South Downs National Trail isn't it yeah yeah my blue sky at last Spectacular guys. Lovely. Oh look, here comes this uh, glider. Yeah, glider yeah. Little glider, can see this. Yeah, so up there Bumpton's is there. Crawley and Hayward Heath, Burgess Hill, and right in the distance is the North Downs. On the South Downs, that's right in the distance of the North Downs, which obviously I know a lot better. Trip point number S three seven zero. If that's the correct number to use. And down there is bright. You can just about see the sea in the background. So where the stadium is, the football stadium, is Stanmer House near there. We did a paranormal investigation there back in 2011, I think it was. Um, which you can s will be coming, a remastered version of that video will be coming onto this channel soon. Yeah. Just see the sea, you can see the White Cliffs of Dover, the beginning of the White Cliffs of Dover, right in the distance on the south coast. The other side of there. The other yeah. side of that hill is where the little way. Let's go and knock up Richard Pobes. <laughs> I think that's starter worthy in there. Yeah. Oh no, that's Shoreham, I think. Shoreham. Yeah, Shoreham. We Shoreham first, then yeah. worthy. So there you go. Ditchling Beacon. I'm going to come back up here probably in the summer and have a proper walk up here. Yeah. As Al just suggested, I think it'd be lovely. Um, yeah. Discover a little bit more of the South Downs Way. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, around some of the little villages around the South Downs. If you like the video, of course, like, subscribe, please leave a comment, uh, always appreciated. And we'll see you next time on whatever comes next. Hi. Hi. Cheers. Cheers. Take care.